Okay, I couldn't leave it at that. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Okay, let me just explain this last bit. You know, you have this vector, okay? And vector r, all right? What I want to point out in this is that your moment is really dictated by what component of that force, in our case, force F. In our case, this force, what component is going to be perpendicular to R? So, you can see that this Fy, which I briefly mentioned before, is actually going to be that that portion that is perpendicular. Let me just draw like a quick little sketch of what about this vector, r? What portion would contribute into the moment? Well, if we had a vector like this, okay, if we had a vector like that, what portion would actually contribute? Well, if we look at this line right here, the perpendicular line, then you see that this component, this portion right here, from here to here, this is what I'm going to just call F uh, P, perpendicular F P. And F P will be your, um, should I say, like, that's, that's going to be what contributes into the moment. And actually, for this situation, the moment of this would be R times FP. This is more of an intuitive approach. A lot of people really like it. As long as you can physically understand, dissect it intuitively, this approach will work. Your cantilever beam. Remember that in the beginning? What if you're pushing like this? onto the cantilever beam. Well, extend the perpendicular line and then you realize that from here this small vector, which I mean if this was vector F, this would be Y, right? And that's just how it works. It, it, it's it's some twisting action, some bending action. You have to have, uh, and I mean, it's the same concepts uh, that is that governs um, materials that bend, such as oh, geez, everything bends. I mean, try breaking your pencil right now, or breaking your pen, or breaking a ruler. I mean, by holding one hand still. You're essentially creating a cantilever beam and cr making the material bend. So, I mean, I just suggest that uh, we kind of enter into a kind of an example situation so that I can draw some pictures for you. Um, all these I know really just chicken scratch, but, you know, I think I might be able to get you some more interesting topics. And uh, forgive me for kind of the last brief uh, chicken scratch area. I, I try and be a little bit more neater every once in a while. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video, and leave any comments if you want more uh, examples, by all means. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video.